everyone please don't mind my hair i am currently um curling my hair for bantu knot so you'll see it eventually in this video but today i am finally building my prayer corner Ta -da! that's my day bed right there this is my prayer corner i have all this stuff right there that i'm going to use to build it and you guys are going to watch me do it and i'm going to walk you guys through every single thing that i got um what i'm going to be using it for and you guys will see the final product as well so the first thing is this ottoman which i am so excited about it actually opens up so in here i'm going to put all like my notebook um my bible and anything else that i'm using in here any tools i have and then um i can actually sit on here and when i'm kneeling down to pray i can put my hands right here i thought this was really important for it to be really comfortable and it has so much cushion and it is actually really beautiful i got it at ross for 27 dollars 99 next thing i got was this pillow finest at ross also got this bath mat which you're wondering like why I get a bath mat but the reason why is because they're really foamy and I'm looking for comfort because I kneel down a lot when I pray and I have tile floors which you guys will see so it's not gonna be comfortable if I kneel down just on the tile floor so I have this actually to put under the fuzzy um little rugs that I bought which let me show you I got these at five and below for literally five dollars each they're just fluffy round um rugs so it's gonna really be cute I got these at five and below um these are well this is a vase and then this is just like little cute little flowers to put inside the vase you guys this one was such a random buy but i thought it was cute i got this little photo frame it was five dollars but i was thinking that i could put like some things that like i'm praying about as far as like my vision boards in here so that way i can just see it while i'm praying all the time so i have to um go ahead and print out what i want in here i haven't done that so you guys probably won't see that in the video but i thought it'd be really cute to display um just to remind myself like what i'm praying towards and things like that this is an outdoor led candle i'm not gonna be outdoor but i wanted a candle without having a candle I got these two piece wall shelf. I got this from Five and Below as well. This was five dollars. Um, five like five fifty five, I think. This I've always seen these, and I always wanted to get it. I'm happy I finally got it. So the last thing I have coming is actually a marble whiteboard. I think it's about like fifteen inches tall and ten inches wide. Probably just gonna put it right on the floor there, and that's just to write anything down that I'm receiving from the Lord as I'm praying. If I don't feel like you know writing in my notebook. officially finished it's right behind me can you guys see it before i do the big review and walk you guys through every step of it i wanted to talk about why i built a prayer corner and why i think it's important to have one um as you guys know as christians it's important for us to pray and pray without ceasing but um the real reason why i built a prayer corner for myself is because i'll pray on my bed and like oftentimes just fall asleep you know like when you're like praying on the bed um it's for me anyway sometimes it's hard to stay up and it's not like sitting up and like convincing myself not to lay down it's really hard so i think um having a place where you go and secluded for god i think it really honors him and i think god would also honor you when you are consistent with that and also as far as when you meet him and where you meet him i think it just creates a schedule around it and it makes it more um of an appointment than just like oh i'm gonna pray kind of like whenever you work you probably have a place in your room where you work i know i do or you get on the zoom call like that's a an area of like where you know that you're supposed to be working right now in your focus so i think with everything else in life that we take the time out to do and set um places for i think um you know 
God and prayer is something that we should definitely prioritize and make a system out of it. So that's the reason why I decided to build a prayer corner. I also think it's really, really cute and it's also, um, it helps me to just be more excited about the things I'm praying for when I beautify it because I'm a really, really visual person and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. So I had a lot of fun building this and um, I'm excited to create more memories in this prayer corner and I'm excited for all the testimonies that are coming to pass with this prayer corner as well. All right, you guys. So here is the corner overview before we start. Isn't it so cute, you guys? Ah! Oh my God, I love it so much and I feel like it goes with my marble floors really well because I just love white you guys ah okay so up here I have like a vase a clear vase here whoop I see like that you guys already saw everything I got so stay I got a clear vase and some fake flowers I guess or leaves fake leaves right here and here's the board that I showed you guys that I got I put Aquila and Priscilla from X182 here I'm like studying about them right now so that's why I have them right there and then as you go down here, I have my prayer canvas. You guys can actually purchase this from my website. I'll link it down below. But um, these, this is actually a makeup of 12 different prayer cards. These are actually empty. Um, my prayer cards are um, somewhere else right now. But I put this up so you guys can really see why or how it comes together. So literally, like I just velcro it here, and then when you purchase them, you actually also get the velcro to attach it to the wall. And back here, it has um, date requested and date received, and then you just write down those dates, and then you're able to just write your prayer. And um, the whole point of it is for you to remember, you know, what you're praying towards, and also mark the date that you receive the prayer. So as you go on through this whole prayer canvas, you can literally go back and check. Oh my gosh, like God did this. I remember how I was feeling when I wrote this prayer down. I remember how you know how tough that situation was so you know that god can do it again so this is a really good way to encourage yourself to pray and it's also really beautiful because nobody has to know that this is literally prayer cards but it literally makes up a canvas like a waller so i really love really love this so i actually have a different um arts canvases that you can purchase from the website i'll probably show them right here on the video but you can link that i have them linked down below as well you guys can see the different ones that i have but the way it's supposed to work is as you're you know create as you create prayers you'll put them up so you can literally have a, a canvas of like and that's really going to encourage you to keep writing more prayers so you can finish your canvas so that's the whole purpose is to keep praying keep believing and also look back to see how god has blessed you in the previous years or previous months or literally yesterday and so that your faith rises for the next thing that you're praying about so really really love this and i think you will too so go ahead and check them out in the link below and then here to the left, I have this um, white marble um, whiteboard. You guys, I love marble. My pores are marble, and I just love marble. So I got this little whiteboard here, and I just have something that I want to remind myself of. Right now, it's God Provides Richly and Ceaselessly. I got this from Amazon, so I'll have the link down below if you guys are interested in getting that. And then right here in the corner, um, I have this little fake candle. It's an LED candle, actually. Um, this is going to be just so if I want, like, a little bit of light in the night. So I usually pray um, when it's still dark outside. Um, then I could see without having to put, like, the white light on in my room. This was only, like, $3. I got it from Ross, but I actually really like it. Apparently, it has a setting where if you turn the timer on at a certain time, it'll literally remember that time and turn on every morning at that time. And then it'll stay on for five hours, which is really cool. Something I'm going to be using, using that tomorrow morning. And then um, over here, I have my ottoman, and this is where I'm going to keep, like, everything. So as I'm building my prayer wall, I'm going to probably have, like, the rest of them in here. Um, so let me open this up. It's really nice because it's a storage, but it's also really comfortable. So I have my prayer journal in here, my Bible. Um, actually, I don't have my Bible in here right now. My other journals that I journal in. And then this is actually for the letter board. This is the marker for the whiteboard and then this is the other intimate things that i have in there so this is good to just store stuff in here but it's also really comfortable so it's nice if i want to like kneel against it when i'm praying it's going to be comfortable i can sit on here so i'm really excited about that and then over here i actually have a little frame here i got it from, from five and below thinking that i can probably like insert um pictures in there for like vision board purposes i had it up there at the um shelf 
before, but I switched it with, with the board. I thought the board was prettier, but I am going to put another shelf up, so I'll probably put it up eventually. But this is going to be to help me just remember like things I'm believing for and praying towards. Because um, I think it's important to kind of imagine what you're praying for so, you know, you see, you can see what's coming before you actually see it in real life. I mean, real life is spiritual, so in physical life. And then I have this, um, these two rugs from Five and Below. They're so fluffy and comfortable. Love them. And so the bath mat, I told you guys about, is <laughs> literally under because I'm trying to like not cry when I'm kneeling because this tile floor is really, really um, hard. So I got this bath mat for like a little bit of a cushion. And let me tell you, it's super working. And then I have this old rug under here too that I had already here. So I just put it there for extra cushioning. So that's under there. And then right here, I just have a pillow so I can like, you know, sit and maybe lean against this instead of the wall. And it says, walk in faith. I thought it was really cute. I got it from Ross and it just went with everything else that's going on with this prayer corner. But yeah, you guys, this is my prayer corner. I'm really excited um, I'm to just use this more, mess it up, you know, like make it home for prayer. <music> That was my prayer war room, prayer corner video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got some inspiration from my prayer corner. So one more thing before I go, I want to let you guys know that I actually pray every Sunday on over on Instagram at 8 p.m. Central. This prayer is for any young professional, any young adult trying to do more, get more out of life, and really want to level up spiritually. So if you guys love prayer, if you're on this video, I highly, highly recommend you and invite you to join me on Instagram every Sunday at 8 p.m. Central for prayers. You can go ahead and DM me for any prayer requests that you might have, and I'd be so, so excited and honored to pray with you and for you. So excited to see you guys on the prayers. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!